Hey, welcome back to the Electrician's Tool Channel. Today, I'm going to just show off my tools, my two new tools that I've added to my uh, inventory of tools, electrical tools. I'm going to just talk about these today. Uh, those of you who are new to the channel, uh, if this is your first time uh, viewing this channel, I'm going to ask if you can hit the, hit the like button, subscribe button, or leave a comment. And if you decide to do either or, uh, if you hit the, hit the subscribe button, I actually hit the notification bell located right next to it, that you will put yourself in rotation to get notified for my future videos and it'll put you in rotation to receive uh, like a continuous play of my old videos, uh, previous videos. So uh, with that being said, and all of that is in support of the channel. Uh, it's for free. And I'm just asking you to help support the channel if you love electrical tools, if you love being an electrician. And uh, this this station, this channel has helped you out in some sort of way. I'm going to ask that you to help to support the channel. And uh, so let's move on. Um, I'm going to just do a review of these two, of these two uh, Klein tools. Some of you may, have, may even have um, a pair of these two pliers. Uh, I know I did before. I had the ones that look like look like these, the heavy duty pliers, but they had the yellow or the gold, you'll see good yellow or gold writing on here where I say Klein tools at. And uh, they had the little spring right here in the middle. I'm right in the back, had the spring. Uh, these are new to uh, to the market from Klein. I had the smaller version of these before some of you may know i don't know the model number of them but they had the little blue handle and it, the, the the handle wasn't as beefy as these are it wasn't heavy duty like these are uh but they were the small blue climb uh wire strippers now with that being said uh what we're going to do is i'm gonna just tell you what i like about them and what i don't like about them and um you know that'll be it so uh the model number for these at the top are let me get it. Hold on one second, guys. Let me get my glasses. Okay. The model number to the ones at the top is K1206. Five, Charlie uh, Ronald. Okay, this is the package that it came in. Right here is Klein Tools Klein Curve Heavy Duty Wire Stripper Slash Crimper. It's four times stronger. They say it cuts from eight to eighteen gauge wires, ten to twenty gauge wire, and it also has a little crimper that's on the back. The ones that came out before these, they didn't have this crimper. In this place, they had a little spring and also had a little locking mechanism. So the, uh, the ones I had previous, and I did a video on them, I, I had since gave those to my son, and he has since lost them. He said it fell in the, he was doing some work uh, where he worked at, and uh, they fell in a, in, in a pond. I don't know where he was working at, maybe some water, I don't know, but uh, he said that they, uh, they fell in some water somewhere. He couldn't get them out. But uh, these are spitting image of the other ones. Um, don't know the model number, but some of you guys do. But you know, the head on these look a little bit, the other ones, the head was a little bit fatter. It is about the same right here, but it stuck out a little bit more up here uh, from the, one, the ones I'm talking about with the spring on it. I like these two because I'm used to not having the ones with the spring. And I bought, I, I could have bought those again, but I, I said no, so I opted out to get these here with the crimper. Uh, it's kind of a, you know, I, I very seldom use, well, no, I do. I do, depends on if I'm doing uh, like a control panel. I do like the fork crimps and I, uh, crimps, and I can use this for that. I have one tool that can you do all these different things with. So I thought this was very valuable to me. So that's what made me, uh, it's more valuable than just having a spring, that which does nothing but just keep it open. So that's what made me get these instead. They still have they still have the 632s right here, the 832s screw uh, bolt cutters right here, and um, they they really feel they really do feel nice and beefy in your hand. These are our heavy duty pliers right here, and these right here, they do have a little locking mechanism right here, and these feel good. 
Now, I like the way these feel with this spring. This, feel, this really feels good also. Um, the, the model number to these are, put this right here so you can see, the model number to these are K11095. And this one says the Klein Curve Wire Stripper slash Cutter. And it cuts from 8 to 18, 10 to 20. So both of them will cut the same type of wire. The only difference between the two this is a little bit bigger. This has a wire head on the front. And uh, it has a crimper. And as far as, um, let me see. This don't have a place here where you can bend the wire like you can with these. When you want to bend uh, solid wire, this don't have that place. Now, you can, cut, you, you can cut bolts with this one here too. So that's a good thing. Um, it, feel, it really feels good in my hand, for sure. And I have a lot of large hands. And these feel better than the previous ones that I just mentioned earlier with the this other small old little blue one with the blue handle. I don't have a, a pair here uh, on me, but um, but these are really nice. So um, if you're in the market of getting a pair of wire strippers, I know there's many on the market. The idea came out with a set, a pair. Um, I did have a pair of those. Um, but you know, these clients really do feel good in the hand. So, um, and let me see something compared to these, compared to these, this is basically the same thing. If they were to beef the head up a little bit on this one, you will almost have the same plier in your hand and put a, um, like a, a crimp right here on the back. You have the same plier. This handle feel pretty good too. This this handle right here feel pretty good. These are getting old. I had these a long time too, but they're getting old. But that's okay. It's, you know. But anyway, um, if you're looking for a pair of pliers, you can't go wrong with these right here or these, or a pair of wire strippers. Uh, let me just get a pair. Let me get this out and then try to see how well they're doing cutting, okay? Naturally, that cuts pretty good. Let me strip. Yeah, that's really sharp. Try to strip with this one. Yeah, that's really good too. Yeah, when you know pliers are sharp, when, when you cut and um, it don't pop, you know, like pop off. When it cuts through like butter, that's when you know that the, the blade is sharp. See, that's sharp. That's really sharp. Try these and see. Now, that kind of snaps, but it's sharp. Cause I hardly ever use these for um, for like cutting. I mainly use them for just stripping. But these are they're sharp, they're sharp. But um, anyway, uh, on a scale from one to ten, I would give them a ten. Both of these, I give them a ten. And you know, I'm just holding these in my hand with that with that uh, that spring, and holding these without the spring. I kind of, I'll be honest with you, I kind of miss that spring because now I have to do with my hand. When here, they just pop open on their own, ready for the next time you strip. So uh, that do, you know, that's, I thought I would like it, but I kind of wish I had the ones with the spring on it instead of this right here. But anyway, that's just me. That's just me guys. Other than that, I like the pliers, have no problem with them at all. And do actually do I uh, recommend getting, you getting a pair? Yeah, I recommend you getting a pair. But these are really nice, really nice, really nice. Klein twos, as always. So guys, I just want to thank you for watching. I know it's not a long video. I just want to make a little quick review of uh, of this and um, tell you guys thank you for watching. As always, part in the phone. Um, so. Until next time, guys, you guys stay safe and um, peace out.